She is known for her passion for acting, which began at a young age and led her to pursue a degree in theater at UCLA. She is recognized for her dedication to advocating for African American students in the performing arts, as she formed a theater group to provide more opportunities for them. Her name is Sabrina Luboff. In the vibrant city of New Orleans, Louisiana, on a March day in 1958, a star was born. Sabrina Luboff entered the world, destined to leave an indelible mark on the world of acting. Seeking a better life away from the confines of a segregated society, Sabrina's family made the brave decision to move to Los Angeles when she was just a baby. Raised by her maternal grandmother in the heart of South Central LA, Sabrina's passion for acting began to blossom at a young age. As a child, Sabrina's talent shone brightly on school stages, where she brought characters to life with her performances. From starring as Cinderella in elementary school to taking on leadership roles like high school class president, Sabrina's charisma and natural flair for the arts were undeniable. But it wasn't until she attended UCLA that her determination to break barriers in the entertainment industry truly ignited. At UCLA, Sabrina became frustrated by the lack of opportunities for African-American students in the theater department. In response, she took matters into her own hands and founded a black students' theater group, providing a platform for her peers to showcase their talents. Her dedication and initiative caught the attention of many, and in 1980, Sabrina embarked on a new chapter of her acting journey as she pursued her master's degree in acting at the prestigious Yale School of Drama. In 1984, Sabrina Leboeuf, at the age of 26, auditioned for the role of Sandra Huxtable on The Cosby Show. Despite her talent, she faced a hurdle, her age. Being only 10 years younger than Felicia Rashad, who played her on-screen mother Claire Huxtable, Leboeuf was initially considered too old for the role. Interestingly, pop singer Whitney Houston also auditioned for the same part but declined to sign the contract as she wanted to focus on her singing career. This turn of events led the producers to ultimately choose Leboeuf for the role. Throughout the show's eight-season run, Leboeuf portrayed Sandra Huxtable, the eldest daughter of the Huxtable family. Sandra, a Princeton graduate who later married and started a family, became a beloved character on the show. In 1988, a staggering 50 million viewers tuned in to witness Sandra give birth to twins, named Winnie and Nelson in honor of Nelson and Winnie Mandela. While working on The Cosby Show, Leboeuf also made appearances in other television series such as Hotel and the TV movie Howard Beach, making a case for murder. She even had brief roles in Star Trek, The Next Generation as bridge officer Ensign Justy and in the comedy series The Sinbad Show. Additionally, Leboeuf continued her passion for theater, starring as Rosalind in a production of Shakespeare's As You Like It Currently, Leboeuf is an esteemed leading lady, regularly performing with the Shakespeare Theater Company in Washington, D.C. Her recent role as Catherine in The Taming of the Shrew garnered praise and showcased her talent on stage. Leboeuf has also participated in the off-Broadway play Love, Loss, and What I Wore, which captivated audiences from 2009 to 2012. Throughout her career, Sabrina Leboeuf has proven herself as a versatile and talented actress. From her breakthrough role as Sandra Huxtable to her captivating performances in theater, Leboeuf continues to shine in the entertainment industry, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.